Hey guys, Kibble the Strategist here, and today we are playing a new horror map. Uh, well, it's not necessarily new, it's kind of old. But basically, this one is like a poppy playtime style, like, puzzle horror map, from what I could gather. Uh, it's... There you go. There's the name. And there's the title of the map. Happy Toys. I found this on mcpl.com. Again, you can find this pretty much anywhere in the usual places. If you just look, just type in Happy Toys Minecraft or map. And this should be, and this should pop up. Uh, so we need something to activate this. So let's find that something. They don't have it. Um, okay. So, nothing there. Let's see if like, there's anything I can do to like, make sure no toys come after me. I really don't want to end up freaking dying to toys. Also, this is only chapter one, by the way. This isn't a, like a full like chapter. I wanted to play this on the thing early, uh, earlier, but I couldn't because my freaking Minecraft was being a little dingus. I'm trying to censor myself, so sorry if I sound ridiculous. Um. Also, it's storming outside, so sorry if you hear that. It's probably like hailing right now. Um, one I can, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I definitely can, and it's freaking hailing. You can hear it knocking against the window. Um, so yeah. That's, that's something. Um, yeah, right back to the map. Okay, from the looks of it, we have a code in colors over here. Um, and over here we got something that needs a microchip. Can I just take the microchip out of the frame? No. I guess I'm in uh, adventure mode right now, so that makes sense. Thing is, I still don't know what, exactly what the toy, um, the toys are named. I know one's like a uh, baby doll or something, like a very creepy baby doll. But I think that's like the main toy of this chapter. Like, it's just a baby doll. So, yellow, red, green is the code. Let's see. There we go. Open that door, and we got a lot of chests to go through. Yay! Well, not a lot, but still, it's tedious to look through every single chest. Uh, and there, last one. Yay, we found it. Found the microchip. Also, this part of this, like, map are in Spanish. Basically, if you need a translation, let me know. But, usually they give us translations. That door, I just end up figuring it out. That is such a unique little way of, like, opening doors. Could you have an iron door, but no, you went through the fancy route with command blocks. And those are the toys, by the way. That's what I was meaning when I said it was a creepy baby doll. Um, one of these guys has a key. I want that key. 
Or I'm guessing it's a key. It's something. And I want it. There we go. Got the key. So, what do I do with the key? I'm going over here. And I guess right. Uh, this is a pretty well made map, to be honest. It's not overly, like, hard, but it's also not easy either. It is, it's pretty easy once you get the hang of the puzzles, but not really so much when there's no horror, horror aspect to it. I still haven't seen, like, anything at all related to, um, related to horror. No chases, no nothing other than the creepy baby doll statues. That's all there is, and I'm good. <laughs> they can stay... They can stay as statues. I'm not afraid of them. It's just like, it's creepy. And it reminds me of Annabelle. I really don't like how... That's ominous. Uh, anyway, it was... I was saying, it was, it's creepy. And it reminds me of Annabelle. The doll. Not a person. Uh... But I'm pretty sure we all saw what we saw over there with the closing of the door. Um. So yeah. That's the thing. Okay, so basically these puzzles are just moving one block of redstone from one end to the other. Uh. So that's done. Um, although, if you have any horror map suggestions, let me know. And that was lightning. Lightning just went off. Um, but yeah, I don't. Seriously, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it is fucking raining cats and dogs. Um, and that thunder. Lightning before the thunder. Maybe freaking the hash slinging slasher is going to come out and kill me at one point. Not on the map, but in real life. The hash slinging slasher. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got that from an old fucking, um, Spongebob episode. And it was so stupid. It was like meant to be like a Halloween or a scary episode. But it was just stupid. It was, uh, it was the episode where Spongebob and Squidward were doing the night shift at the Krusty Krab, and Squidward made the story up about a fry cook that used to work at the Krusty Krab who had lost his hand and replaced it with a rusty spatula and named him the Hash Slinging Slasher. And it was just the stupidest thing, because, like, everything that freaking happened in the story that Scooter told uh, basically happened around them. For instance, he, uh, I believe it was, he would call the phone, the half thing Sasha would call the phone, the lights would flicker, and he would appear across the street on a bus. Or after a bus left, or something. And he would slowly approach the counter. Which happened, but it wasn't necessarily someone who replaced their hand with a rusty spatula. It was a, um... 
it was someone looking for unemployment. That <laughs> it was just one dude looking for an employment. And he just happened to do everything the uh Ashley Slasher would have done. Except for the flickering lights. That was no no for Octo, or however you say his name. We kept making the lights flicker. Also, for some reason, the walls oozed green slime. I don't know why. I think that was just meant to be more comic relief at the time. Looking back, it's pretty silly and stupid. Uh, anyway. Enough of my ramblings. Back to the map at hand. Uh, okay then. We, uh... Not much. Not got much. Uh, okay, so more puzzles. So we got that. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, it's a block in the way. That's not good. Um, that's the wind. It's, okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but it feels like a tropical storm is going on outside. If you ever sight seen videos of tropical storms, you know what I mean. That's what it feels like going on outside right now. Like the wind's blowing, there's lightning and thunder, and from what I'm hearing, it's either raining or freaking hailing. Either one's not good. Uh, let's try and figure this out. Uh, I'll be back because this is gonna take a while to figure out so. Enjoy the music. Okay, so basically I finally got it so I could reverse it. But not sure how I'm meant to do this. So. We got the key at least. That's good. Um. How am I supposed to get that thing off? It's like giving it to me. Give me the key. I worked so hard for this. Freaking... I have an idea. Take that. If you give me an item, I'm going to use it in a way it's not meant to be intended to you. There we go. And yeah, I'm through the door. Okay. I feel like I'm going to get jump scared here. I'm definitely going to get jump scared. Yep. So, where are they? Where is the creepy baby doll? There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> well, we just saw the death screen, so... Um... Yeah. I'll try and get through this without dying again, but if I die, I'm going to cut out and try and do it, do it off camera. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that opens, so just keep pressing the back arrow. Then at the most crucial time, turn around. And by that, I mean, like, turn around right here. Uh, sorry. Oh, nope, I'm dead. Well, I'm going to cut out here, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, basically, I figured it out. Basically, pull this lever. And basically, it's left first 
and I'll take you guys through the rest as soon as we get into it. So, yeah. Okay, so first we go left or right. Then we go this way. This way. This way. Basically, I kept doing this for an hour. Trying to figure out the route. And this is what I got. So, yeah. Close all those. Go in. Close that door. And we are safe. So, yeah. Probably going to end the video here soon. So, because that was a freaking torturous endeavor. Literally, I spent the entire time sitting there trying to figure out how to do things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to go through this elevator and then I'm ending the video, okay? Um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, this is a cliche. No functioning elevator. And I'm knocked out. Okay, so what's next? Hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Uh, goodbye. I guess. Oh wait, there's more.